My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbent helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. The penultimate race on the program, the first leg of the last double, is the Savages Football Club 141st anniversary. Phillies and Mayor 76 handicap over 1,000 metres. It's off at 4 o'clock and it's another good race. Before we go any further, let's hear from Garth Puller and Mark Dixon. Time to fly has come down from uh, Brett Crawford in Joburg. Um, Small filly, very small, uh, it's a bit feisty. It's going to be her first run. I'm just hoping that we don't have the weather that's predicted because she moved out of Cape Town because she doesn't handle the wet too well. So don't really know what to expect. She's small and she shows speed. I'm hoping for a nice run. Willamy has come back uh, from a break. She's had one run back. Uh, it was a nice run and I think she'll back that up and run well again. Captain Christy, yeah, she's been running with the best. She's a few lengths off the best, but uh, she's, she's undoubtedly got a lot of ability. First time in a handicap, so it's it's interesting, racing off of an 88. I think it's uh, a nice race for her, back to a 1,000. I think that's her best trip at this stage. Um, and I think she's a big runner on the day. Before going any further with race nine, let's uh, recap our pick six, suggested pick six structure. So in the first leg of the pick six, we've suggested four runners. Then in the second leg of the pick six, Banker Plaza Accord. In the third leg of the pick six, Banker Gorgeous Guy. Taking my chances there, nailing my colours to the mast because we're going field in uh, leg four, field in leg five. Those two very tough fillies handicaps. So we get to leg, uh, leg six, which is race nine, final leg of the pick six, final leg of the place accumulator. So we've got to go a little light here. We can't go field again. So we've got forces by banker, by banker, by field, by field. So I'm going to take my chances with just two runners in this race, the two two-year-olds. We heard there from Mark Dixon that number seven, Captain's Christie, is not too far off the best. Good, consistent form. Cole Dickon rides the two-year-old daughter of Captain of All, and she is the second choice in the market at four to one. She was priced up at five to one. There's already been a little bit of a betting move for number seven, Captain's Christie, into four to one. So she's one of the two, the other being the favourite, Paul Matchett in town. He's been in hot form as Paul Matchett with number five, Mist in Scotland. The two-year-old daughter of Versing Gedericks priced up at 22 to 10. Rachel Venica, who enjoys a wonderful strike rate for Paul Matchett, uh, rode uh, this filly to victory on the poly track on the 5th of June. So she steps back from the poly track uh, onto the turf track, but she won on the turf track second time out on the turfantine inside course. So Mist in Scotland, I thought her last win over some hard-knocking handicappers was out of the top draw. Two-year-old, carrying a big weight. She played around before the start. She got herself into a bit of a lather. And nonetheless, she pulled off what I thought was quite a remarkable filly for, uh, for a two-year-old filly under top weight against some hard-knocking sorts. I was impressed by Mist in Scotland. And in this, the last leg of the pick six, and of course, the last leg of the place accumulator. I'm happy to go with just a numbers five missed in Scotland and seven Captains Christie. Those are the two principal runners for me. I'm not looking past those for the winner. I'm going to include both in the place accumulator and both in the final leg of the pick six and both also in the third leg of jackpot two. There are, of course, a number of others that could surprise. Bright Stars being in terrific form, steps back to the minimum trip after having won over 1,200 and 1,100 in her last two starts. She's a half-sister to a horse that I owned and did very well for us, Irish Tractor. So Bright Stars in very good form, but I think she's going to find five furlongs a little on the sharp side for her. Stingray has upset potential as well, but I'm going to go with five missed in Scotland and seven Captains Christie to fight out race nine. It's good fun, days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.